Hi guys and welcome to this video. In this specific video, we're going to test out the installation of XAMPP and PHP programming on these new M1 Apple chips. Please be kind in the comments. I know PHP is not the most loved programming language by developers, but it is what it is, guys. It is used by almost 80% or so of the Clover website, so someone has to do it and I will test for you guys if this thing will work. So at first we're going to, or we're searching for XAMPP and trying to install it. All right, so we are going today for the OS 10 version for macOS. All right, the download should be starting. Oh, it's already started, so that's fine. I'll prepare to download. And I will catch you guys if the download is actually finished. Oh, come on, what are you doing, man? So we stopped the download and we are manually starting it. That thing was slow to load in the first place. Down the latest version. All right, guys, here we go. The download will start shortly. Oh, that sounds good. So let's hope the download will go fast. Source forge or allow. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay, now we are talking and yeah, I will catch you when the download is finished. All right, so the download is finished. Let's unpack the DMG and run the installation process. So I'm not sure if I mentioned at the beginning, but I'm using the baseline uh, MacBook Pro 13 inch with eight gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of SSD storage just for reference. All right, let's move the exam application in the applications folder. That usually takes up a couple of seconds and then we can start using it, I guess. Perfect, so let's take a look in the applications folder. There is exam uh, right above Xcode and below Xamarin, Repsom, you guys see, I have done a lot of tests the past days. All right, let's open up exam. This seems to be the first execution of software. That's absolutely true. All right, so let's run through this. Stackman wants my administrator privileges. So here we go. All right, so XMB is installed. Let's start it. Error starting XM stack. So why are you... Cannot calculate MAC address. VM, create unknown error. All right, guys, so I'm not very familiar with XM, but does it mean that he wants to create something virtual? VM, maybe virtual machine, which can be the issue because it looks to me that uh, he has problems starting up. Fortunately, XM is not working at the moment. Let's double check. XM on M1 MacBook to see if there is already some kind of information. All right, you do get a Reddit uh, entry here seven days ago. Seems to work. Oh, that's interesting because, as you guys know, the installation is working, but you cannot start it. All right, so guys, I'm not sure. It's pretty hard to find any anything which is related to this specific error. We do get one Reddit entry. Mac transition. Okay, dokie, guys. So I'm not sure if we do get any anything specific here, which really tells us what the issue is. We can Google up uh, the actual problem. So let's see if we find anything here. MacOS Catalina and Docker. We know Docker is not working at the moment. So can we actually set something there? Go to application, open terminal, no services. Apache. I guess we have to start up the general part at first and then we can use the other part. But can we calculate MAC address? That seems to be an error related to the M1 chip. So guys, if you know the solution to this specific problem or there is anything else I can do, please comment below. I will figure it out and try it. Otherwise, I have to report that XM, uh, you can install it, you can start it, or you can start the application, but you cannot start the service itself because it's giving you an error that you cannot calculate a MAC address. Yeah, pretty unfortunate right now, guys. But yeah, as always, uh, comment down below if you know something about this. Or if you do want to see any specific video in the future, I will catch you in the next one. Bye.